and welcome back to The Dresser. I am Natalie, and if you are new here, please stick around, um, check out my other videos, hit that subscribe button, all of the good stuff, and I hope you enjoy this video. Today's video is on none other than fashion illustration or fashion flats. What are they, what is the difference, and how are they used in fashion design? Illustration is really like your drawing, like your overall look at what your collection or garment is going to look like. Often it's stylized and done in different poses such as this one or this one or this one. You get the idea, right? They range in colors, obviously proportion, and it really just depends on the artist's style as well. Everybody that does art obviously can tell you that their style is different from somebody else. And fashion illustrations are the same way. Everyone draws them differently. I draw them differently from the next person in my class or the next person down the street. Like it, it's really just your personal preference and it's how you get your ideas from your head onto paper to really express and show you what you want your garment to look like. Now, personally, if you go into fashion design as a major in college, they're gonna teach you how to do it so that everybody can understand what you are drawing. However, in my opinion, as long as you understand what you're drawing, it doesn't really matter what anybody else is because the fashion illustration is really just for you and to get your ideas from your head to your mood board to the paper. And that is what fashion illustration is. It's a lot of fun, to be quite honest. I really do enjoy drawing these. And obviously it takes practice. Um, drawing the human figure is not easy. Um, and if you do want to see how I got to the point where I am now, I'll link up my fashion illustration little beginner tutor tutorial video up here. But really, that's what fashion illustration is and what it is for. Digital is becoming very popular nowadays with fashion illustration and I actually do really want to get an iPad and get that um, Procreate app because it's just really handy to like carry around if I like see something I'm like, oh, inspiration, I can just sketch it out, rip out my iPad and just But I don't have one right now, big sad. Maybe eventually I'll get one because let's be honest, carrying around a sketchbook and a bunch of colored pencils and everything isn't always the most practical. So I think that is the reason a lot of time that people aren't going to digitally because it's just a lot more practical and it doesn't take up so much room in your purse or bag or whatever, etc. By now you might be wondering, well, what is a fashion flat? A fashion flat is the technical drawing of your fashion illustration and that is the best way I could possibly put it. Your fashion flat is going to be each individual piece you drew in your illustration and you're going to take it and make it very technical and you can see all the seams, buttons, different pattern pieces. You can see everything in your design that is important to how it is constructed and how you're going to actually create the pattern. And that's what a fashion flat is for. It's helping you actually visualize the different elements, components, and all the different factors that go into a garment that many people don't realize. Like right now, I'm making a blazer in one of my classes, and I did not realize how many pattern pieces go into a blazer. It's, it's insane, to be quite honest. It, it's probably around 25 or 30 different individual pieces that go into making this blazer. And that's what the fashion flat is used for. It is to show either your pattern maker or to show the manufacturer, hey, this is the technical pieces of my garment that need to go into this garment and into the pattern. This is often done on Illustrator. Obviously, you can see I did a little scroll through clip of different fashion flats that I've been working on. I'm not super fantastic at it quite yet, but um, that was just a glimpse at what fashion flats could look like. And a lot of times, again, they are done on Illustrator, but there are other programs that you can make fashion flats on, such as CD, C Design Fashion, Digital Fashion Pro, Browseware, and Clothes for me. I really had to look at this because some of these names are just weird. Like Browseware, I don't, it's spelled Brow Z and Wear. I don't really understand, but 
Those are different programs you can use to create fashion flats. Now some of them are more in depth than others like the Browsware and the Clothe 3D are actually simulators as well. You can see what your garment looks like on a digital figure like walking down a street or a runway, yada yada yada. But that is what a fashion flat is and how it is used in fashion. So now you know what a fashion illustration and a fashion flat are and how they work together and I hope this video really helped you to understand a little bit more about the fashion industry and all the different things and all the different people that go into it and to make your clothes and to make beautiful garments that you see walking down red carpets all the time. I am super excited for the Met Gala. It's coming so soon, next week on Monday, I believe it's the first Monday in May. They're resuming it after COVID. It just seems like a breath of fresh air and I'm so excited. So I hope you guys are excited for that as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything with that. I have an idea that I really, really do wanna do, but I just don't know if I have the money right now to do it, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Please check out my other videos, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video, and I will see you guys all next time at The Dresser.